All right, we're back again. This is part two of uh, the two-part series on my new Telpac node for Winlink 2000. And um, as you can see, wow, that's bright. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that. Yeah, it worked. It just had to adjust itself. There's a new message from KB3JUV at winlink.org. Hello from Winlink 2000, testing this thing out. So as you can see, it did work. And it was just a simple message. Testing this thing out, let me know how it works. And sure enough, it did. And we'll archive that. Now, let me show you the other side of how we set this system up. This is Telpac. This is a piece of software that not a whole lot of Winlink users use because it's on the server side of the Winlink 2000 network. Most people just use client software to connect into Winlink 2000. And this is an easy way uh, for people who are all across the United States, oh, actually across the world, to set up VHF or UHF uh, nodes for uh, packet and uh, allow other people to connect uh, to Winlink. And as you can see, I'm using uh, 1200 baud VHF packet for this. And uh, the node is KB3JV-10. And um, kind of gives you a log down at the bottom and then shows where your packet port connections are. So, I'm actually using AGW Packet Engine Pro and it was very much a pain to get this thing to work. Uh, AGW Packet Engine is not easy to really configure right. The hardware on this side is a IC706 which is basically my base radio and a CAM Plus, Cantronics. And uh, that does Pactor and Packet, Pactor 1. I need to make sure I say Pactor 1 because it's not nearly as fancy as the $1,000 TNCs that allow for Pactor 2 and 3. So, uh, as you can see, 145.050, which is a in-the-band plan for packet. So, I'm within the band plan. Other than that, that's the new station for Telpac. It'll be probably temporary in, uh, until somebody else decides to put up a permanent station somewhere on a higher tower, but... Until then, it'll work for Field Day 2007, and uh, we're looking forward to getting some points for using digital and sending some messages. So this is KV3JV, signing off.